Okay, so BMBF has finally updated to a new version, version uh, 1.17. Um, this fixes everything that we've all been having issues with. Um, I've had so many comments that I couldn't keep up with it, basically. Uh, so we're going to quickly run through the uh, update notification, uh, and then I'm going to do a, a clean install uh, and show you how to uninstall Beat Saber if your Beat Saber has vanished. Um, so let's read through this first. Uh, so BMBF version 1.17 has released. This update adds support for Quest firmware v51 and higher. This update also sets the default browser page to the mod download site by Computer Elite. If you are on system version 51 or higher, only Beat Saber 1.28.0 is supported as a core mod update for v51 is only av available for that version. So basically just forget about previous versions at this point. I think I think 1.28 has pretty much everything everyone needs. I don't see any real reason to be downgrading past that backwards. So 1.28, just stick to it. It'll make life a hell of a lot easier for you. Um, and then we carry on. Uh, what if I used Quest App version switcher uh, to mod my game? If you've used Quest App version switcher to patch your game, there is no need to transition to BMBF. If you wish, if you wish to switch to BMBF, from Quest App Version Switcher, you must uninstall all mods that were installed with Quest App Version Switcher before you use BMBF. Uh, this will ensure that BMBF is in sync with the installed mods. This can be done by clicking Remove Mods from the Tools and Options page of QAVS. Uh, so yeah, if you are if you've switched over to Quest App Version Switcher from BMBF, then by all means keep using it. I'm not going to focus on that because I haven't used it myself. I used Quest, Quest Patcher quickly just to patch in the V51 fix. Um, but I've used BMBF all this time and I'm just sticking with it. So, yeah. Um, and then finally it says, Please note you must have the version of Beat Saber you are modding installed prior to opening BMBF. Otherwise you will encounter an error during the Use This Folder prompt. When asked to press the Use This Folder, do not select any other folders. Just simply press the button. The correct folder is automatically selected for you. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure that because I always I just I downgrade Beat Saber. Well, I was downgrading Beat Saber, then installing BMF. So I don't know. Some people were maybe installing BMBF first and then trying to downgrade Beat Saber. But I would always recommend get your Beat Saber on the right version, then install BMBF. Like that was always my recommendation, to be honest. So I guess that's what they're saying. Um, if you happen to have installed BMBF first, then just don't open it. Um, and you can downgrade Beat Server, I guess, but easier just to downgrade Beat Server and then install BMBF. So that's it for that. Um, and now we are going to do an uninstall and reinstall of all the new um, BMBF. So let's get onto that now. I'm just dropping this little bit in quickly before we get to the uninstall. Um, this is just how to back up your settings files. Um, and you want to do this before you uninstall Beat Saber. Uh, so you go into SideQuest and you go to this little folder up at the top. This is obviously once your Quest is connected. Um, click the folder, go to Android, go to Data, and you look for com.beatgames.beatserver. Um, here we are, com.beatgames.beatserver and you click files and you want to save your local daily leaderboards uh, local leaderboards player data and your settings config um, they're all saved now um, so we'll carry on with the uh, uninstall and install process all right so the first thing we're going to do is head over to bmbf.dev forward slash stable um, and download the new version of bmbf 1.17.0 um, we'll just look at the what's new here added apk signature scheme version 2 needed for v51 plus added new file permissions needed for v51 plus added computer release quest mod site to the inbuilt browser that should be good i mean finally we can just hopefully just download and install the mods within the browser because it was never quite up to date. It would show the core mods or it would show mods from like version 1.24 or something like that. And it was just pointless it even being there because it wasn't right. Uh, so anyway, all you would do is click on this little link here. 
you will see it downloading. Um, it's only a small file. That's finished. Um, so next we're going to head over to side quest. Um, your quest, quest two, quest pro uh, is connected already. Um, and we're going to go up to this little, um, where is it? The little arrow in the box at the very top right hand corner. It says run ADB commands. Um, I'll just show you quickly because I was on V51 and um, I'd patched it and everything was fine, but I just checked today and my headset's updated to V53. Um, so I came in here to sort of uninstall Beat Saber and BMBF as I always do, but Beat Saber seems to have just disappeared. Um, so I'm going to run a little ADB command um, that basically uninstalls it, even if you can't see it. Um, so the command is uninstall com.beatgames.bserver. Um, I'll put this in the description. Um, we're just going to copy that up to the command, custom command, type in the command or just copy it in, run the command, success, close, there we go, Beat Saber's uninstalled, um, yeah. And next we're going to go to BMBF, um, we are going to uninstall that. Um, one thing I forgot that I've already done, to, uh, I'll show you once I've reinstalled Beat Saber, but you can back up your uh, settings files and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd previously done that anyway, and your scores and everything. Um, so let's go back home and just go back onto that page, make sure BMBF has gone. Right, so they're both gone now. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is reinstall Beat Saber, um, and then downgrade it, and then install BMBF. Okay, so I've downloaded Beat Saber on the headset, so at the moment it's just on the latest version, the official version, it's not modded or anything like that. Um, inside Quest here, we'll just have a look at the apps and you can see Beat Saber is now there. Um, next thing we're going to do is head over to um, this. <laughs> this is where you can download the APKs, I'll post a link in the description. I'm not going to try and read this out because it's pointless. Um, to be able to download these, you need to also be signed in at oculus.com experiences quest. Uh, you can see there I'm signed in um, because this dials home to make sure you have the game basically. Uh, so the next thing you want to be downloading the version you want, which is 1.28 at the moment comes up with this little warning message again telling you you need to be logged in at the aforementioned site uh, so now you will just click download it'll download the apk of beat saber and then we're going to install that i'll skip ahead here so we're not wasting too much time okay so the beat saber apk has downloaded as you can see here um, next thing we're going to do is jump over to side quest um, and we're going to go to the nine little squares currently installed apps in the top right hand corner and we're going to go to beat saber and we are going to uninstall it um, because we don't want this latest version anymore um, so if we go back home check the apps again it's gone uh, the next thing in the top right again there's a little box with an arrow pointing down we're going to click that uh, and we're going to find the apk we've just downloaded which is this one we're going to double click that uh, and it takes about 30 seconds to a minute uh, to install, so I'm going to skip ahead now uh, and we'll continue. Okay, so that APK is finished installing. Um, we're going to go back and then go to the apps again just to check, and Beat Saber is there once more, so this will be now on version 1.28. Um, next, we're going to go to the little APK icon again, uh, and we're going to install the BMBF APK we downloaded. So we're installing that should only take a couple of seconds I think okay so that's all good let's just check so we've got Beat Saber we've got BMBF that's all good to go now uh, so next let's jump into the headset and we will set up BMBF okay so here we are in the Quest 2 um, we're gonna go to the app library and we're gonna go to this little icon at the top right hand corner um, click that um, and if you're on all where it'll show all your apps, uh, you want to go to unknown sources and you will see BMBF here. You will click on that and give it a couple of seconds. 
um, you will get this uh, notification, all files access, allow access to manage all files, toggle that on, click the back arrow, um, you must give BMBF access to Android data or it cannot function, click OK, and then we've got all this, and then uh, as we read on the previous notification uh, at the start, don't click any of these folders, just click use this folder, it's already selected. Allow BMBF to access files in data. This will let BMBF access current and future content stored in data. Allow. Next we will uh, come up with the BMBF uh, install menu. Um, and this is just the same as it was in the past. Um, so your version of Beat Server 1.28 is supported by BMBF. Um, blah, 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 a bit of spiel here. So we want to click Get Started and then Uninstall Beat Server. Um, and all this is doing is uninstalling the official uh, version we have installed and then reinstalling uh, a modified version, basically. Um, do you want to uninstall this app? We click OK. And next we want to click Patch Beat Server. And then we want to click Install Modded Beat Server. For your security, your phone currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps from this source. You can change this in Settings. So then you will click Settings. Uh, it will pop up with this, install unknown apps, allow from this source, you will toggle that on, click the back arrow, um, and then click install modded Beat Saber again. Do you want to install this app? Install. Um, and then when you come up with this message, restore app, blah, 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 don't click restore, click close. And that seems to have toggled off again. I'm toggled that back on. I'm going to click that back arrow there. And here we are back in BMBF. Um, all my songs are still there. This has changed slightly before it would come up with a, a message saying uh, I see you have an old uh, install or something, do you want to sync your songs? So it doesn't say that message anymore but they're all there so you just need to click sync. Okay so that's now synced. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at the mods page to see if it does in fact contain all the mods. Sorry, not the mods page. Um, so it's kept all my old mods actually, which is uh, interesting. Uh, I'm going to see if I can toggle these back on. Any tweaks, search fixes, quest sounds. Um, I'm not sure what those other ones are, so I'll leave them toggled off for now. Let me sync that. And next we're going to go over to the browser uh, and see if the mods page has actually updated and is now showing all the mods for 1.28. Because it would be nice to just come in here and install the mods instead of having to use a PC. Um, so yes, here we are, game version 1.28, and we've got all the mods for 1.28. So this is very nice that you can finally just install Beat Saber, install BMBF, and download your mods on your headset. No need to mess around um, copying mods across anymore on the PC. Uh, so now let's jump into Beat Saber, make sure everything is working correctly. Uh, and obviously, whenever you get this update available, you want to click update later. Do not click update now. 
and allow Beat Saber to access photos and media on your device. I guess. And a little warning message as usual. Here we are. So we've got our BMBF notice board over here. And I've got my mods and stuff. Um, loading all my songs there. Playlist core, external playlist modification detected, likely through BMBF. Changes made in game may, may be lost. Would you like to keep the external changes? Yes, I would. Okay, so we're now we're just going to have a quick look in settings. We've got mod settings. There's this message that comes up, just ignore that. Um, and then I've got any tweaks, playlist manager, playlist core, mod list settings, pink core, song loader. Um, so that's where your, your mods will be. And obviously I just need to reinstall some mods. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, nice and simple. And hopefully that fixes things for everyone and we can just get on with our lives. This is just a final little step. Um, we're going to reinstall the uh, settings files that we saved right at the, the start of the process. Um, so once everything's done, BMBF is installed, Beat Saber's downgraded and all that stuff, um, you will come back into SideQuest. You will again go to the little folder icon in the top right hand corner. Um, you go to Android, Data, Com, Beat Games, Beat Saber. There we are. Files, and you will go to your downloads where you saved the files previously. So we've got settings config, player data, local daily leaderboards, and local local leaderboards, local daily leaderboards. Um, you'll copy those four files across drag them over here and drop them. Um, and that will just load in your old leaderboards and player data and stuff back onto your new modified version. And that's it. Hey guys, as always, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.